get started. Okay, great. So welcome to the call, everybody. And as you already know, my name is Oral McKenzie, and we're just going to ask what they do. So a quick pastor training with you guys to get you onto the right start. Now, here's why this pastor training is very important. Or right, rather yet, let me ask a question to kind of share with you how important this is. So let me pick on one person right now. So let me actually work with Shalisa. So Shalisa, can you add me to yourself right, right now, please, real quick? Shalisa, are you actually there? You can tap on your screen and unmute yourself. Are you able to do that? Or I have to send you the microphone. Um, Julian, did you allow where yeah, person? They can they can unmute themselves. Yeah. So um Shalisa going once. If she's not ready, I'm gonna go with somebody else. Shalisa going twice. So um let me go with Miss Jones. Miss Jones, are you able to unmute yourself right now? Miss Tanya Jones, are you there? All right. So anybody, somebody, Bonique, are you able to hear us? Can you unmute yourself? Is your background clean? So not not getting a response from Shalisa, not getting a response from Bonique. Um, not getting a response from let me try Chanel. Chanel, are you able to hear us? Are you sure they can unmute yourself? Guys, let me know in the chat if you're able to unmute yourself. Yeah, man, I can I'm not sure what's happening with those people. But I'm good. All right, cool. So, Chanel, are you there? Yes, I am here. All right, so let me ask you this question really quick to show you guys how important this call is. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're on the call and you're not present, then you're going you're gonna to miss the information. Um, Shalisa is saying that she can't unmute. You, you All right. It, it unmute now. All right, great. So, Shalisa, let me ask you this question. If, God forbid, you actually got ill, you're sick, and you go to the doctor and you're supposed to do a surgery, and the doctor say to you, I know how to do the surgery, but I didn't went to medical school or I, I wasn't trained for it, but I know how to do the surgery. You allow him to do the surgery? You're on your No. Diet. no. Why, why wouldn't you allow him to do the surgery? Because he don't have any experience. And he's not trained to do it, right? Yeah. So exactly what the situation is right now. Most of the persons on the call, this is your first time you're doing network marketing. You're not trained to do it. You're not showing exactly how to do it. So that is why we're doing this fast start training to get you off to the right start. Making sense right now? Shalisa? Yes. All right, cool. So with all that being said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually um bring up one of my best friends. So you all know him already. But just to let you know, this gentleman was actually in the same exact position that you guys were in. He was in the middle of the mall after going to a random person, convincing them to buy a cell phone. Someone showed him this concept. He was able to go on a lot of trips around the world. Not only that, make more than a million dollars with the concept. Please. Um, make more than a million dollars with the concept and has helped a lot of people to do so. So what he's going to do, he's going to talk about the mindset that is required for building this business. And then I'm going to come on and actually share with you the how to's, the steps that is required. So with no more further ado, my brother from another mother, Mr. Julian Bernard. Bro, are you on? Yes, sir. I'm on. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing okay, bro. Good, good, good. I uh, appreciate the introduction. Um... And, you know, welcome, everybody, welcome to the team. You know, I know, I know there's a lot of new members, a lot of new faces. And, you know, my name's Julian Bernard. And, you know, prior to me getting started in this industry, you know, like um, like Oral, Oral said, I was in the middle of the mall selling cell phones, you know. And at that point in time, I just remember not really being happy where I was at in life at that time. I felt like I should have been a lot further along than where I was at. And I didn't know how I was going to get to where I wanted to get to. And I feel like a big part of happiness is being able to have something to look forward to, right? Being able to have access to something that will allow us to be able to dream and be able to dream big. And 
I didn't have that at that time, you know, so I was waking up and I'm like, man, I just wasn't happy where I was at. And I just didn't know how I was going to get to where I want to get to. And I was just hoping and praying I could just, you know, come across somebody who I would talk to in the middle of the mall that would just give me an opportunity to make a, to have a job and, you know, give me a better job making like six figures a year. Right. And that was like my ultimate goal at that time, you know, but the thing is, you know, Although it seems like God may have taken you a different direction sometimes, he knows how to get you to your destination, right? So we had something way bigger in store for me. And I got introduced to this industry. You know, it's crazy because, you know, my my aunt, she would she would keep, she would pop up my job and she would just tell me I was crazy for not working this business. She lived close by to where I was working at, selling cell phones at, and she would come up in my, in my kiosk and she'd be like, Julian, you you were here slaving at this job. Like you need, you need to be, you need to be working this business with me. And the thing is, you know, I wasn't really, I don't know. I just felt like she had had success in, in that type of business, that industry before. And just because she had success in it didn't mean that necessarily I could. And I just didn't, I wasn't able to see myself having success with it for whatever reason. But the thing is at the end of the day, you know, people pray all the time to be in the right place at the right time. And the crazy thing about that is that's only half the battle. You know, you have to have to realize you're in the right place at the right time to even take advantage of what's in front of you. Here I am praying to be able to get access to a six figure year job when she's offering me an opportunity where I can literally make six figures a month, potentially. Right. And that's what this industry allowed me to do was to really be able to start dreaming again, you know, to be able to be like, OK, I, I can use this vehicle to take me everywhere I want to go, everything I want to accomplish, all the places in the world I want to see, the type of car I want to drive, the type of place I want to live in, the type of lifestyle I want to be able to create, um, you know, and and the ultimate lifestyle to be able to create for yourself is complete time freedom and complete financial freedom. You know, that's, you know, that's the thing, you know, because a lot of times people have one or the other working in their favor. So they might have a whole lot of time, but not a lot of money, or they might have a whole lot of money and not a lot of time. It's very rare to be able to have access to a vehicle that could provide you time freedom and financial freedom, you know, at the same time. And within, so I got started and I was able to get off to a really, a pretty fast start. And it was because I, I plugged into a system, right? I plugged into a system. And the number one thing that you guys want to do and make sure that you're doing and like Oral said, it's like, you know, you want to make sure you're, you want somebody who knows what they're doing, guiding you, right? And the thing is, in order for you to be able to learn and to be able to implement what you learn, of course, is the first and foremost, be coachable. You know, I, you know, although I was, you know, really good at selling cell phones, I sold other things before, it didn't necessarily mean I was going to be good at doing this. So the first thing that I had to do was to be coachable. And you know, my aunt was the one, she, she was having a lot of success at the time. And I was just willing to listen to exactly what she told me to do in order to have some results. And at that point in time, you know, Zoom wasn't even around. I mean, I don't even think Zoom was a company, you know, in that around that time when I got started. And we had these, um, these DVDs and the DVDs, you know, damn, really, there's not even DVDs anymore, really, you know, a DVD disc, right? with um with these with these video presentations on it and I would show somebody the DVD and then she would have me call her and do a three-way call with her to be able to answer any questions and then close you know close for uh for me right so a lot of you guys are getting started and you want to share this with family members and you want to share it with friends but they're looking at you and they know that you're not the expert. They know that you don't have all the answers. They know that you have probably never had success in this industry before. And they're looking at you like, oh, I don't know. Are they really going to be able to do this? Or, you know, can they really trust you in this, in this um, arena? And that's why you have access to the system of inviting them to see a presentation. You know, a lot of you guys have been seeing a webinar with, you know, maybe oral or myself or another leader presenting the information. And now they, they feel even more comfortable because they see like, okay, this person is now attached to somebody who knows what they're doing. They've done it before. They know where they're going, right? Same thing when it comes to exposing somebody 
you know, a lot of times we want to go and just expose somebody on our on ourselves by our, by ourselves, and that you could do that, but you should always end up getting a leader on the call or on the phone with them after they look at the information, because it's just going to work in your favor. You know, two people being able to, you know, share and share their experience and you know help you close. It's always going to be better than just yourself, right? So what you have to learn how to do pretty early on is edification, right? Being able to edify the leader, be able to edify the presenter or the speaker. And edifying is really just putting that person, you know, putting it, putting that person, you're edify, edifying that person. So you're putting them kind of on a pedestal to a certain extent, right? You're saying good things about them and you're giving that person a reason why they should listen to that person, right? And Oro just said the trust triangle. Actually, Oro does an amazing job of edifying. I want him to actually hop on real quick and, and just give an example of edification. He does it all the time. My brother from another mother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 now, Oro, can you just go over, like like you said, the trust triangle mm -hmm. um, and your edification and how, how that works? Because guys, when you learn how to do this, it makes it so much easier. You're sharing the information with your family member, your friend. They're looking at you like, hey, listen, you, you know, I know you're not the expert in this. We was just getting drunk together last weekend. You know, this is not, <laughs> you're not the expert. So now you're able to take that trust and transfer that trust over, right? And Or is going to go over an example of that real quick. So um, the, 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 the edification is pretty simple. Um, what I like to do is to say, you, you don't want to say too much things because they don't remember. So you want to say like one to two, three things about the person that you actually um is edifying and say what is your relationship with that person. And you want to say it with some form of energy uh, and and vibes so that they the, 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 the vibration that is going on, they can feel it through their vein, veins. And then you probably say one or two things about the person that you're actually introducing them to. But you don't want to, some people get it wrong sometimes. They're, they say too much good things about their friend, like they put their friend up here and the person that is going to answer the question down here. You want to have it just like this. So you say three good things about the person that you're actually bringing on and you say two good things about your friend. Now, these things that you're saying about the person that you edify should not be anything that you make up or anything like that. It should be authentic true and real because people have a way of finding out if what you're saying is not true so i can edify anybody at all you you can you need to identify um good things about the person that you want to edify and say them so for example if i'm if i should edify chanel right now so i'll say three good things so say i just want you to hear from one of my what one of the main things that you want to say to you you like you like to say Want to hear from a mentor so they know that this person is guiding you or coaching you. So, for example, if I'm to edify Chanel right now, I will say, I just want to, we to actually hear from a person. One key point is that you say the person name last. This young lady is someone who I really admire. She's my mentor. She definitely loves adventure. Once it's adventure, she's actually into it. Now, I realize that she really have a good personality because her friends are always rallying around her and she have helped a lot of people in circumstances where they need help. So with no more further ado, my sister from another mother, Miss Chanel Adams, blah, blah, blah. So it's something like that. So you say some good things about the person that you know for real and then you just put some energy on it and do it like that. So that's basically how I do it all the time. So back over to you, bro. Hey, appreciate you. Appreciate you on that. That was a really good, um, that was a good, really good way to describe that guy. So, you know, once you really get good at, you know, edifying, right, that's half the battle. So now it's about um, edifying. It's about inviting. It's about edifying, right? But before we get to that, your mental state has to be right. You know, this is really, you know, it's like a mental battle, you know, as far as this building this up in, in this industry. And I want to actually go through, you know, what's called the four mental battles that you're going to have to go through in order to be successful. See, one of those mental battles is is going to be rejection. Take some notes on this too, guys. Um, rejection is the 
number one mental battle. See, when I said earlier, a lot of times, you know, God may have taken you a different direction than you thought, but he knows how to get you to your destination, right? I was in the middle of them all selling cell phones. So again, my job in a kiosk, every single person walking past me through the mall, my job is to say, hey, excuse me, miss. Hey, excuse me, sir. Quick question for you. So now I'm, I'm waving them over to my booth and I'm trying to convince them into buying a cell phone when they had no intentions of buying one in the first place, right? How many of you guys, drop, drop some in the chat box, how many times do you think I got told no a day? Just drop some numbers. Like if you just think about it, it's all day, all day, somebody walking past, I'm trying to convince them to buy a cell phone. How many times do you think I got told no daily, right? Yo, I got told no so many times. And what I realized and what I had to understand early on with that job, because I got really good at it, was I had to just make the numbers my friend, right? The more people I was able to go through, the more numbers I went through, the more people I would sell a cell phone to. The faster I got through the numbers, the faster I got to my goal of how many cell phones I was able to sell. So you have to, write this down, you have to emotionally detach yourself from anybody saying yes or no, right? And you have to, the other thing is you have to emotionally detach yourself. Yeah, again, mostly detach yourself from anybody saying yes or no. So, so a lot of times we might be scared to share the idea with somebody because we're afraid of what they might say, right? And it's like, at the end of the day, <laughs> you, you your job isn't to play God and to like think or prejudge what they're going to say before they say it, first of all. See, a lot of times we get caught up in saying, oh, I'm going to show this person because they're going to do it for sure. They're 100% going to do it. Oh, I'm not going to show, I'm not going to show Oro. I mean, that, he's real serious. I mean, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to show it, share it with him, right? And we start playing God and thinking about who we should, who's going to do it and who's not going to do it. And I promise you guys, you have no idea who's going to do it and who's not. We can't play God. Our job is to put it in front of the people we know and let them make up their mind whether they want to do it or not. Because at the end of the day, it's travel. It's something everybody wants to do. Everybody wants to travel. You know what I mean? We're just showing people how to do what they already want to do at a fraction of the price they normally want to do it at. If they want to, if they don't want to do it, all right, cool. No two hundred dollar cruise for no free cruise for you, right? Like it's like what we got our hands on. We know how good it is. So don't be, don't worry about what whether somebody is saying yes or no. Don't worry about. You know, if they're going to say yes or no, don't worry about what they're going to say after you share it with them. Our job is to go through the numbers and just share it with them. They don't do it. Cool. It doesn't mean no. It means not not right now. And you go to the next person. Right. Um, so it's a numbers game, guys. Make the numbers your friend. Again, don't prejudge. Just show people. Share with everybody. Let them make up their mind whether it's something they want to do or not. Right. Um, number two, this that was the number. So number one mental, mental battle was rejection, right? Number two, deception. Deception. What does that mean? People will tell you one thing and they will do another. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to get started tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started with you next week. You know, uh, tomorrow turns into the next day, to the next day, to the next month, to the next month. They might not ever get started, right? But again... You can't let stuff like that take you off of track of what you're doing and what you're called to do and what you're trying to accomplish, right? If you let, so the thing is, write this down, guys, what you focus on expands. What you focus on expands. So we're not focusing on the people who said no. We're not focused on the people who said tomorrow they don't join. We're not dwelling on none of that because when you do that, you start focusing on it. It expands. Now it's just negativity. And now you start doubting yourself. You start doubting the opportunity. You start doubting if it works. And eventually you just end up quitting because it's just too much, right? So we're only focusing on positive positivity, right? And that's how you should be in life in general. Don't, don't focus on the negative stuff because you focus on the negative stuff, you get more negative stuff, right? Like let's say, you know, you're like, oh man, I don't have, I don't, I'm not making enough money. I'm not making no money. I wish I need some more money, but I would, I don't, I'm not. Now you're just attracting more of that to your life instead of always solution-based. We're just focused on the solution. We're not focused on the problem, right? 
Um, so again, you know, deception. People will tell you one thing and they'll do another, right? And that's something you're gonna have to deal with through this business. Let me see here. Um, I mean, you'll also get people. I mean, this is a people's business, guys. It really is a people's business. It's a relationship business. I mean, you not you might have people that you butt heads with, you know, in business and things of that nature. I mean, again, you can't let anything knock you off track. Just stay positive and keep moving forward, right? So deception is another mental battle. Attrition. Attrition will be another mental battle. I'm giving you guys some stuff, you know, in order to, before it happens, now you know and you're ready for it and you know it's a part of the game, right? Attrition pretty much just means everybody, the people that you start with won't necessarily end up being the people that you end with, right? You know, my 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 thing to you guys is make sure you're just here a year from today because some amazing things are going to happen over these next 12 months. A lot of growth is going to happen over these next 12 months. A lot of people's lives are going to change in a major way over these next 12 months. Make a decision to be here a year from today. But there's going to be people who fall off. There's going to be people who end up quitting. I mean, people quit everything. You know, people quit relationships, friendships, marriages, jobs. People, you know, quit things all the time, right? So again, we can't emotionally attach ourselves to somebody quitting or falling off, right? We're not going to focus on that because what we focus on expands. People are going to fall off. You make a decision that this is what I'm going to do over this period of time to get to where I want to get to, to accomplish what I want to accomplish, to be able to change my family's whole, my whole family tree. I'm going to be here and I'm going to keep pressing forward. I'm going to find the people. I'm going to look for the people. I'm going to find the people, look for the people who's looking for me, right? And you're going to find a core group of people who's going to build it with you. But on that road to where you want to get to, people will quit and you can't get the, get discouraged on that. You just find new people to build with. New blood is always a life blood, right? And then the last mental battle is going to be life. You know, things are going to happen in life that could really take you out and, you know, really um, knock you off track. I mean, you know, you, you could have loved ones who, who pass away. I mean, you could have, you know, you could get sick. You could, I mean, there's so many things that could happen um in that in that realm right but again you just make a decision and you're just here in your present as much as you can be and you just accomplish whatever it is that you set out to accomplish right and if you can get through those four mental battles i remember i remember my father he actually um he passed away this is around covid time and that same weekend like he passed away like that monday that same weekend, like Saturday, I had to fly. I was supposed to fly out to, I forget where it was, Chicago, somewhere to do some like house events. And, um, you know, they were asking me like, you know, do you want to just go ahead and cancel? And, you know, I, I just made a decision like, no, I'm not going to cancel. I mean, my dad wouldn't even want me to cancel, you know. Well, like cancel for what? Just sit in the house and just be sad and whatever the case may be. Like I made a decision like it's not, no, I'm going to, I made a decision to be there, Right. And I ended up flying out and doing what I needed to do. Of course, I took my time to, you know, to be able to mourn and things of that nature. But I made a decision, right? And the thing is, guys, once you make a decision, God's going to test you to see how bad you want it, right? There's going to be obstacles that come immediately after you make the decision. And it's it's really just about making it through those. And, and, and making a decision means to cut off from, right? And you're going to keep pushing forward no matter what. And you go over the, 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 the mental battles and you're going to go through the things that happen that's meant to try to take you out and you keep going forward. And then when you keep moving forward, what will happen is the universe will start working in your favor and, and big things will start to happen. But you will have challenges that can take you out early on. And, you know, you'll have people that say stupid things and you'll have it's just dumb stuff that, that could take you out and could literally keep you away from the lifestyle that you set out to obtain through this platform, right? So the next thing, guys, is going to be, um, I'm going to actually pass it over to Oral. I'm going to let him go over inviting with you guys on how to invite people to see this information because you, you want to have your mindset right, right? You want to be able to learn how to invite people to see the information and you want to be able to learn how to edify as well. So Oral, can you uh, take it away from here, bros? 
most definitely, bro. I'll definitely have to take away. Um, can you please confirm that you're able to see my screen right now? Yes, sir. All right, cool. So I'm gonna talk, start from right here. So from this current slide right here. All right, cool. So guys, welcome to the call again. Doing a quick um. So the first thing first, we're gonna take a minute or two to watch this video because this video is very important. And then I'm gonna go over a couple of slides with you. So here we go. As the final piece of your First Things First program, we want to talk about something that's really important to our business, which you really almost never hear anywhere else in any other type of career. And you're going to hear people asking you if you have found your why. What is your why? What are you really doing the business for? See, on many jobs, we're used to having a nine to five job, and on a job, you're told what you're supposed to do, and you do it. And if you don't do it, you get written up or you get fired. Over here, it's different. We're our own boss. There's no one to fire you. Certainly, you're not going to fire yourself. And the things that you need to do are up to you. You know, I always tell people the hours are flexible but not optional. You've still got to do the work. And the best thing about network marketing for many, many people above and beyond all the other great things is that you can do anything you want whenever you want. That's the very best thing. But for a lot of people, when they get started and they don't understand what I'm saying right now, the worst thing about network marketing is they can do whatever they want whenever they want. I always say what's easy to do in our business is also easy not to do. See, all you really got to do is pick up the phone and call a certain amount of people every day. So you do a certain amount of presentations every day and some will and some won't and that's okay. It's not that you've got to be a great closer, a great presenter. You've just got to do the repetitions. You've got to make the calls. You've got to do the work. It's not hard work. It's not complicated work, but you do have to go through the numbers. Now, in order to do that, we want to find out what's your inspiration. Dale Carnegie, who wrote one of the greatest books in the world called How to Win Friends and Influence People, said when dealing with human beings, you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but rather with creatures of emotion. So again, this is an emotional business. We get up and down. We get excited. We get bummed out. A lot of times when people get frustrated in our business, they choose not to pick up the phone anymore. Or sometimes they get lazy and they decide not to pick up the phone and do what they're supposed to do. So we try to find out what's your why. What's really motivating you? You've already got a job that's taking care of your basic needs normally, a roof over your head, food on a table. Now what's your why? What are you really excited about? Now sometimes that why for my friend Lori years ago, she wanted to retire her mother and father. She loved her mom and dad so much and wanted to retire them. That was her strong burning why. So when Lori didn't feel like going to work, you know, a lot of people, my old mentor called this your action motivator as opposed to your why. What is going to drive you to action? What's going to make you take action when you really don't feel like taking action, if you get what I'm saying? Lori, it was because she wanted to retire mom and dad. So when she didn't feel like doing things, she she did it anyway. So many people don't feel like going to the gym, so they don't go. They don't feel like doing this or that, so they don't do it. They don't have the discipline. Here's a key to success in anything in life. If you only do what you're supposed to do when you feel like doing it, you're not going to succeed. You've got to have something inside you. And Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill talks about this. What's your white hot burning desire? Now, for some of you, you don't know what it is. Maybe no one's ever asked you what your why is. So understand that if you don't have a why when you're done with this video. If nothing pops in your mind, you're still allowed to make three sales on the left and three on the right and get a hundred dollar cycle bonus. Some people don't develop their why for a while. For me, in the beginning, my why was so un. Um, impressive. I just want a new car. I just had never had a really nice new car. So a lot of people, you know, my friend Lloyd wanted to retire mom and dad. Other people want to raise $100,000 for a charity or do something that's so much more noble. Many of your people will have a non-noble first goal. Their why. Something that's really getting them excited. So that's what you've got to ask yourself. What's going to get you excited to take action and do what you're supposed to do when you really don't feel like doing that? And the 
more that something that really, really drives you, something that you're passionate about, something that you just absolutely get excited about, then you are in perfect shape. Because then, even though the work you're doing every day may not be the most fun or desirable, it'll become secondary because you're focusing on what the prize is going to be. You're not focusing on what the price is you're paying in order to get what you want. You're focusing on the prize. You're focusing on your why. So, what's your why? Okay, so that's something for you guys to think about. What is your why? Why are you really doing this business? So, for me, ladies and gentlemen, I have a hundred reasons why I'm doing this business. One hundred reasons. So, I'm going to run through them real quick. So, you guys probably wondering, how am I so motivated? I have a hundred reasons why I'm doing this thing. So, you guys ready for them? Anybody, somebody? So, the first thing, the first reason, you guys are still hearing me, right? And you guys are seeing my screen? Check, check, check. Anybody? Yes, yeah. yeah, so I see. You... Yeah, so let me run you real quick. Yeah, so my first reason for doing this is because I want to help Dream Trips become the number one network marketing company in the world. Number two, to have our name listed on the top 100 MML list, to make the top 10 MML list, to actually make a million dollars with Dream Trips, to make a million dollar US a month, to help 100 people become six figures earners and my team, to help 100 people become four figures, four figures earners, have over 100 close friends, mentor the number one income earner in the entire company, help all of my friends become millionaires, becoming the best selling author, friends with multimillionaires, a million dollars in the bank just for play, to have a million dollars, to have one million people in Jamaica at least taking one vacation per year, open the first um, hotel with Dream Ships in Jamaica, help Dream Ships establish a headquarters here in Jamaica, to have a network of over a billion dollars, own a real estate company, own a car mart, have a personal closing line, to visit 100 countries. So these are travel goals, right? To visit 100 countries in the world, to visit the Seven Wonder, to travel first class every time. Every time I'm traveling, it's first class. To visit the Grand Canyon, tour the White House, to climb Mount Everest, to see every show in London, England, and in Las Vegas, and don't even have to worry about the price. Vacation in Bora Bora, visit the Dead Sea and the Red Sea, skydiving in Dubai, to watch the World Cup Finals live wherever in the world it is playing, to watch the Olympics um, games live, eat at any restaurants while traveling, swimming with dolphins, meet the president, um, help, we're really doing the health goals right now. Six pack, live over 100 years, weigh 190 pounds, own a own gym, bumps up my head, my back disappear. You have a personal doctor and do a physical activity every day. Have one more child, be at my children important events, trace my family roots, go hiking with friends and family. Some of these things I've actually done them already. So I want to complete everything on this list. And that's the reason why I'm doing this. We're now at 48. Live to see my fourth generation and homeschool my children. You see what I mean? Now, in terms of um, luxurious goals, I want to own a Porsche, a helicopter, a private jet, two custom-made BMW, and of course, a yacht. So um, Chanel... When we're going back to um, Pigeon Island, this time we're not taking the boat. We have a couple of yachts going. Chanel, you up for that? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So um, in terms of giving back, what are my goals as it relates to giving back? To create a McKenzie Foundation. Save at least one person life. Well, I've done that before. Have a school name after me. Have a road name after me. Donate over a million dollars. Build a school. Build a children hospital because um, there's just like two hospitals in the entire country for children. I'm not um, in agreement with that. Plant 100 fruit trees. Have a home theater system where it's like about 20 foot um, screen long. So you can see the person's real big if I decide to watch a movie. Multi-million dollar home. A beach home on the North Coast. I have a nice fishing tank in my home. Personal assistance. Have a children nanny. Um, personal masseuse. Personal trainer to keep my, phys my physical up. Now, as it relates to your money, at that time, you're going to need a personal accountant, personal maid, personal daughter, have the newest computer, learn to cook, um, um, walk in closet, um, read every day. So as I talk about read every day, um, Julian was talking about the mindset. 
I re one of my mentors once told me that if you read five books on the same topic, you are now an expert. But I've gone ahead and read about 20 books on one topic, network marketing. So some of the books that I recommend that you guys read if you really want to be successful with this. This is the first one. It's called The 21 Effutable Laws of Leadership. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. The Greatest Salesman in the World. I've, I've read them all more than one time. The Richest Man in Babylon. You need to read The Four-Year Career. How to Win Friends and Influence People. There's a book on that. The One Minute Manager. Like, you guys need to read books on what you want to actually do. No, so here I was. Um, Read Every Day. Personal Lawyer. Library, Leadership Book, and Motivational Books. Become a Better Friend. So... Chanel, I'm Chanel. Would well, you consider me to be a good friend? So I work on that to become good friends with people. Personal barber, personal hairstylist, purchase a home for my parents. And we are at eighty. At now, personal development goals: become a network marketer, trainer, an international motivator, speaker. Read five hundred books on leadership and self development. Read autobiographies of major leaders. Becoming better listener. Meditate every day. Become an incredible leader become a master at communication, become enlightened, learn to speak three languages. So when I was in Dominican Republic, I couldn't speak Spanish fluently. So I wanted to learn how to speak Spanish, French, and stuff like that. Learn how to spell if, um, excellent. Give a hug every day. Don't judge people. That one is very important. Don't judge people. Learn how to fly, invent a product, become friends with Tony Robbins, and add a new person to my contact manager every day. So I have more than 100 reasons why I'm actually doing this thing. You guys see what I mean? You can actually come up with your own reasons too why you're doing this. So when I don't feel like doing it, as um, the gentleman was saying in the video, then I have 100 reasons to actually motivate me. Is that making sense right now? Someone? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, most definitely making sense. So we're going to go from this um, slide right here. So what are your dreams or what are your goals? What are what what are they? And how, how you want to go? How much fast you want to go? You want to go fast or you want to go slow? Because what I, what I will do when you set the goal, I will tell you exactly what to do to achieve the goal. You, get, you guys see what I mean? So you guys can start putting in the chat. So you can put in the chat. What is your goal with this concept? What are your numbers? How much money do you want to make? And I can tell you exactly what you need to do to actually make that money. So let me see those things coming in the chat right now. Shalisa, how much money do you want to make with this concept? Chanel, John Tell, all those persons on the call want you to get you start right and want to set the expectation right. What is your number one goal with this concept? How much, how much trips you want to go in? Where you want to see? I just gave you 100 goals. Anybody, anybody somebody typing in the chat right now? No. The next thing is that, number two, do I have your commitment? How serious are you? What are you willing to give up? And do I have your permission to keep you on track and to get you emotionally engaged? Kezran, do I have your commitment, bro? Long time, always. Chanel, do I have a commitment? 100%. Um, Shalisa, do I have a commitment? So how serious are you? Christina, yeah. Tanya, you have a commitment, right? Yeah. So one of the second thing is how committed are you? No. The third thing is the game plan. This part is very important. No. One of my mentors always say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You must have a game plan. What is your game plan? Now I'm just going to give you guys a simple game plan. You want to personally expose at least 30 people to dream trips within your first 30 days. That will help you to actually get those four sales. Schedule two-on-one -on -one lunch and bring them onto the travel party. That's an easy game plan. So in actually that game plan, number four is that you have to create a list of people that you're going to share it with. So... 50 plus names is good, is a good way to start. Now, whether they are local or they are long distance, you can actually do that list. But if you want to develop that top 30 people that we're going to share it with first. So the top four for me is those persons that I want to go on a vacation with. 
my top four, Chanel, Kezron, Latoya, Josie. Uh, you need to develop that top four. But me, who are those top four persons that you want to go on a vacation with? Those names need to be the first four. And then you fill in another 26 names down there. You want to create that list of 50 people. Now, I just talked about this. Make a list of 30 to 50 people from your phone contacts that you want to share this with. But how exactly do you make the list? There's a way to make the list. Because the list is what is going to keep you in check and motivate you at the same time to know that you have shared with 10 people so far and you only have 40 people left to share it with. And you're focusing on the process. And as Julian Bernard said, not the results. Do not attach yourself to the result. De attach yourself to the result and just focus on the process. So it's like something like this. I've showed 10 people so far. I have 40 more people to share it with. I guarantee you that everybody that shared it with 50 people, on average, on average, they're going to get two out of 10. So five times two is 10. So they're going to have at least 10 people say yes. You already won. You see what I mean? So this is how you're going to make the list. First, you need to have the person name. In the second column, you need to have their numbers written down. The next column, you're going to have the date that you show them because the date is most important. And on the next side, you need to have the status. Whatever they say, what did they say? Some people will say, I will sign up in June. I have to share this with my spouse. I have to share this with, with uh, my spouse. I'll call you back at 5 p.m. When I have when I leave school next year, you, you're going to get all sorts of comments. The important thing that I want you to do is to write down what they say. Because I'm going to show you guys in, in a couple more slides. One of the greatest skills in network marketing is called following up. So when you're following up with them, you're going to need to remember what they say. So you have to write it down so you can remember what they say. So these are the skills that is required in network marketing. Now, the first skill is called, well, it's at number six, but for me, I'm going to change the order around. It's prospecting. So prospecting is actually turning people that are strangers into friends. Because everybody that you know right now, they were once a stranger. So you see somebody in the mall, they're looking sharp, they're looking decent. They look like somebody that you'd want to work with. You just um say, hi, good evening, how are you? Um, You get them name and you probably ask them a few questions. So here's how I like to do it. I, I, I like to do it like this. Hey, how are you doing? And they'll say, I'm doing okay. So I'm saying, cool. So I would say, I'm a soldier. What do you do? And they'll be like, I'm a nurse. I'm saying, okay, cool. How long have you been doing that now? They will be like, 15 years. And I'll be like, wow, you must love it to be doing it 15 years. So that's a kind of rhetorical question because I know that they don't love it. And they'll be like, no, it's like handsome or they don't really love it. And then, then I'll be like, hey, I think we could be um friends. Um, I have something I could show you. Um, Can I get your number and catch up with you another time? So I'll take the number and I'll catch up with them another time and I'll build up on the relationship before I kind of show them because they're a cold market. Because people buy things from people who they know, like, and trust. But let's focus in on one of the skills that you need right now. So invite, I'm going to touch on that next. So the next skill is invite. The next skill is sharing our presentation, doing the presentation. The next skill is closing the sale. Closing the sale. Closing the sale is just answering the person's question. It's nothing technical. And then what we are doing right now is actually training the person to do skill one, two, three, four. So, and then we have what we call promotion. So one of the skills that you need right now to know is how to invite. So nobody can invite for you and nobody can prospect for you. But I can do the presentation for you. I can answer questions for you. I can help you to train your people and stuff like that. But the number one skill that you need to learn is how to invite someone to see the information. So let's go into that right now. So this is the invite that I use 90% of the time, depending on the person that I'm talking to and how the relationship is. Now, you guys can take a screenshot of this. It's one of the most powerful invites I've ever created or come up with. And I definitely want you guys to be using this one. So how does, how does it work? Number Step one, the phone will ring, they will answer, and I will say, how are you doing today? And I will wait on them to answer. 
I'm not saying anything until they answer. And they will be like, I'm doing okay. And then I'll be like, I'm really excited right now. I'm going on a trip in the Dominican Republic and I'm excited. I'm found a way to have more. Or sometime I will change it up. I will say, I'm just back on a trip from, from Mexico and I'm really having a wonderful time. How are you doing? I found a way to have more. So I'm creating that excitement around the call. Step two, I'll be like to them, are you where you want to be? It's another rhetorical question. Are you where you want to be in life right now? Are you open to having more in your life? Wait for them to answer. Do not answer for them. 90% um, of the time, they're going to say they want to more, have more in their life. No. I kind of do it a little psychological way because here's the thing. The human being brain kind of work a particular way. If you get them to say yes a couple of times, then in the end, they will they will automatically say yes. So sometimes I kind of add little things in it. Like I'll be say, can I ask you a question? And they'll say yes. That's the first yes. And then I'll be like, are you where you want to be in life right now? Or would you like to have more in your life? And I wait for them to answer. They say yes, I would like to have more. Two yes. And then I'll, I'll say to them, if there was a way for you to have more time, more holidays, better vacation, or even to earn an extra $500 US per month, would you open, are you open to that? They say yes. That's like four yes now. And I'm saying, all right, let's link up on Zoom um, at 8.30 today, and I can show you how you can have more. The high chances of are when they come on Zoom and they see the information, they are going to say yes, because they're constantly telling me yes. Does it make sense right now? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to actually role play with this so that it can be cemented in. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now, and I'm going to role play with someone. I'm calling up, some, I'm calling up somebody for right now. So who want to go? Um, let me go with Shalisa. So Shalisa, are you ready? If you're not ready, I'm going with Chanel. I'm going with Bunny. Yes, I'm ready. All right, cool. So the phone is ringing. Bring, ring, 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 ring. Shalisa, how are you doing? We're role playing right now. I'm okay. How are you? Nice to know, Shalisa. Here's the thing. I'm just coming back from a trip in Dominican Republic. I have an amazing time. But Shalisa, I've always been thinking about you. Can I ask you a question real quick? Sure. All right. Are you where you want to be in life right now? Or you'd like to have more in your life? I'd like to have more. Most definitely. So here's the thing. When I'm talking about more, I'm talking about like, like having better holidays, being able to go on a vacation and even to earn an extra $500 US per month. Are you open to that? Yes, I am open. All right. So do you have the, the app called Zoom Cloud Meeting on your phone? Yes, I do. Most definitely. So here's what I want you to do. I'm going to send you a link and you want to come on Zoom with me um about um 8 30 p.m tonight and i'm going to show you exactly how you can have more now can i count on you to be on the zoom yes most definitely so you see i'm just constantly getting her to say yes a lot of times so when she see the information there's a high chance that she's going to say yes so we're going to do the reverse right now shalisa you are going to invite me so you are going to ask me those important question right now so go ahead you hearing me yeah i'm hearing you hello good night yeah good night chalisa how are you doing well i'm doing amazing but um don't know nine to five was stressing me out well, I'm just coming from a trip from the Dominican Republic. Do you, are you where you want to be in life right now? So you, 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 you never make it a little bit flow, but it's your first time. So, you, so I'm coming from a trip in the Dominican Republic, or I'm going to a trip in the Dominican Republic, and I'm so excited. You must add that to it. Or I had an amazing time. Then, can I ask you a question and pause? Okay. Remember, the thing is that you want to have them saying, yes, 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 yes. Don't rush it. You see what I mean? It's yes. kind of a psychological thing. Okay. So let's go, let's go again. So 
Yeah, go ahead. You can continue from the phone. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Start over. All right, let's start over. Yeah, cool. Go ahead. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay, Shalisa. But um, you know, the nine to five kind of stress me out still. I'm really excited right now. I'm going on a trip to the Dominican Republic and I'm so excited. I found a way to have more. Stop, you're going too fast. You want to give them everything one time. <laughs> so um you see after that you're gonna say, Can I ask you a question? Remember. Uh, you want me to have it up on the screen while you while you do it so you can follow? Um let me see. You see my screen right now? You don't want to give them everything one time. You want to take it step by step. Four. You have to split it up in four. You, you see my screen right now? Yes, I'm seeing it. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate it one more time for you. And then I'm going to make you try again. No, don't give them everything one time. You got to stop and let them answer. <coughs> make it into a conversation. Not just you just giving them a lot of information. All right? All right. So watch how I'm going to do it. All right. So the phone is ringing. Hello? Shalisa, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Nice to know. So here's the thing. I'm just coming from a trip in Dominican Republic and I'm really excited. Shalisa, can I ask you a question? Yes. Cool. Are you where you want to be in life right now? Are you open to have more in your life? I'm open. Nice to know. No, when I say have more, I'm talking about having better holidays, being able to go on a vacation, or even to earn an extra $500 US on a monthly basis. You're open to that? Yes. Well, I'm I'm glad to know that you're open. So we're going to link up on Zoom. I'm going to show you how we, you can have more. So I'm going to send you a link. And about 8.30 tonight, we'll link up on Zoom. Can I count on you to be on Zoom? Yes. Are you notice how I'm going to do it? I'm going to stop. And make she answer, make your answer before we go to the next step. I'm gonna give you everything one time. Because if you give them everything one time, the mother say no. Does it make sense? Oh. To you? And the reason yeah. why them say no, because they don't even remember what you said. Okay, you said too much things one time. Does it make sense right now? Yes. All right, so I'm giving you an next shot. So go ahead. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay, but kind of stressed with the nine to five still, but I'm not going well, you know? I'm really excited right now. I'm going on a trip to the Dominican Republic. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you where you want to be in life right now? No, sir. I'm even there for more for each right now. If there is a way for you to have more, more holidays and extra $500 per month, are you open? I'm, I'm most definitely open to that. What do you mean? $500 US? US or Jamaican? US. Yeah, I'm open to that. Okay. Can I send you a link on Zoom? No, don't say can I. I will. I'm going to. Can I is a question. You're asking them. Don't ask them a question now. Find them open. We are link up on Zoom. So what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not expecting for you to get it. Um, You're doing way better than how I did the first time. I'm not expecting for you to do it like me right now. It's, it's after you do it over and over and over again, you're going to get good at doing it. Come on, Um, I've been doing it for a while, so I'm not expecting you to do it good the first time. It's like your first time right now. But as you practice it over and over again, you're going to get good at it. I'm telling you. All right? Does that make sense? Yes. So I'm going to make you listen to somebody else. I'm going to try about two more persons, and then I'm going to move on. So picking for somebody else to try right now. So let me try Diana, because Diana full enough mode, you know, see if she have this thing. Diana, are you up? Are you ready? Diana, are you there? Can you please unmute? Is Diana on the call? Yes, she is. All right, so if Diana is that. Are you able to unmute yourself? You tap on the screen and unmute yourself. Um, if Diana is not up, I'm gonna go for Miss Jones. Miss Jones, are you ready? I'm here. 
All right, so let's go. Invite me. Can I just say something first? All right, just if I call my friend and me, say that they might hang up the phone. <laughs> like, blunt them up the hang up. Because we don't talk like that. That's, I think, one of the biggest issues. So I call him, I say, good, so I go on. You still have work done this one. They might say, yeah, I'm still at New York, so yeah, wait, boy, I'm just so, wait, 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 whatever. And they will take it from there. I say, oh, you know, say, man, do something. Yeah, so that's, yeah. so that's exactly what I said here to do. The part yeah. the, the part that I said, how are you doing, is that mm -hmm. that is the part where you're going to actually um talk like how you guys normally talk. And Keep then, no, you're going to get into the part saying, yeah. can I ask you a question and go from there? Am I making sense right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we talk like, say, hi, how are you doing, blah, blah, blah. You're not going to talk like that. You're going to talk like how you normally talk with the introduction part, and then you're going to get into, can I ask you a question? Would you <laughs> want more in life? Yeah. I found a way to have more in life. Make right. sense? Yeah, yeah. All right, so go ahead. I'm to start? Yeah, you're to start. You're inviting me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Well, go on. But there, you know, from the nine to five, kind of stressed out. The same thing we did the last time, see you, eh? Yeah. Me not, me not, nothing to change. True, Ati. But this come from Dominica, yo. We did nice, don't they, man, all right. Yo, we find a nice way to have more. You're interested, um, where are you in, 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 in terms of life and having more? I'm definitely open to have more in my life, right? Really? Yeah. Because, I mean, if you find a way if you make like about 500 US or have more holiday, have extra money, and you would open to that. I am, I am open to that. All right, you are going to go now. I send you a Zoom link, and me and you just um, talk about it in a later, all right? Most definitely. I will, I'll be on. All right, no problem. I send you the link shortly. All right, cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's what you want to do. Call your friend up and actually invite them surrounding that <laughs> thing. Where they are in life right now and if they're open to have more. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to just um share my screen and show you exactly what you need to do to make back your money and be in profit. And then I'm going to be open to taking any questions that you 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 might have. So share my screen again. So this time, I think I want to go for, so move this out of the way. So it should come right here. And we're going from right here. From current slide. So everybody seeing my screen right now? Yeah. All right, yeah. great. So, so you sign one person. So everything that I'm talking about right now, I'm showing you guys how to make back your money. And I'm talking about a priority membership. So you sign one person, you're going to make $26 on the upfront and the front end and $16.25 on the back end. It's a total of $42 US. You sign one person. You signed up for $130 US. What you need to do is to show some meet more people. One second, what do you mean by back end? All right, cool. So I'm, I'm going to explain that. So hold on one second. So click, um, we're going from here. Oh. All right, so what, are you guys seeing my screen right now? It looks like I'm going to say something different. Stop sharing that. All right, so I need to All get right. you guys to see this. Click. All right, so you guys are seeing my screen now? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so um, Ms. Jones, what we mean by backing is that we get paid five times per month. So with the activities that you're doing during the, during the week, you get paid for it on a Thursday. But at the, at the end of every first Thursday of the month, we get the residual payment, right? The monthly payment based off the amount of persons that is in your binary, in your team, all right? So when you sign up somebody now, you're going to get the $26 upfront that is going to pay out on the Thursday, the following Thursday. But then 
$16.25 is going to go towards your residual income that you're going to get paid the first Thursday of the next month. You following me now? Ms. Jones, you understand? Yes, I am. Yeah. Understand now? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, so you sign up one person, you make $26 on the front end, which is going to pay out on the Thursday. Make $16.25 on the back end, which is going to be paid out on the month end. So you make a total of $42 so far. If you go out and sign up four persons now, you make a total of $169 US. So a couple of things happen right there. Number one, you know have a free travel club. Number two, you make back your money. Number three, you're in profit. Everybody kind of get that right now? Now, what you, what you need to do with the next step from here is to help these four people to get four people. If you do that, so if you help them to get four people, you're now going to make $498 US 11 cents. Almost $500. So you're way in profit. And now your, your team grow to 20 people. And all you have to do is keep doing that. Repeat the process. Help people to get there for. Help people to get there for. Help those people to get there for. That's how we're building the team. We're building the team by people getting four, getting four, getting four, getting four. You guys see what I mean? So this is what the compensation, the rest of the compensation plan look like. So let me break it down to you so you can understand and how you can go all the way to the top. So you get started, you, help, you get four people, you help these four people get four people, you're now going to become a 1K. Are you going to be making, you make $498 US or uh, say $500. No, what you do is that you're going to help four of these people to become 1K and you're going to become a 5K making $1,300 US on a monthly basis. Now, if you want to go to 10K, what you need to do is help two of these persons that are, um, you help these five, um, two of these persons that are 5K become 10K. So let me say that again because you're probably not getting it. So it's step by step. You want to become a 1K you're gonna help four p. You're gonna get four people started and help each one of them to get four people. You become a one k. You want to become a five k. You help five people that are one k. So you, you you help five of those people become one k. You're gonna become five k. Now, if you want to go ten k, those people that you help to become one k, you're gonna to need to help two of them to become five k. And if you have two people in a team that are 5K, you are going to be automatically be 10K. Now, if you want to go to 25K to be making almost $6,000 US per month, you will need to help those two people that are 5K to become 10K. And if you have two people that are 10K in your team, you are going to automatically become 25K. You do the same thing. Help those people that are 25K to become, um, that are 10K to become 25K, you're going to become 50K. I keep like that. So the whole thing about this business is that when you help people, yeah, it's a help, you have to help people. You cause because you can't go to 25k all by yourself. So when you help people get what they want, you are gonna automatically get what you want. Am I making sense right now? So that is how it works. So with all that being said, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually Bring on back Mr. Julian Bernard if you have anything else to add. And then we are going to open the floor for any questions, answer any questions you might have. And then we're going to close the door right here. Because we just want it to be a little bit overall. And we're going to over right now. So, Mr. Bernard, do you have anything else that you want to add? Julian, are you actually there? So, um... In the meantime, while Julian is actually responding, ladies and gentlemen, anyone on the call have any question, anything you want to ask? Bonnie, do you have any question? Going down the line. Miss Jones, do you have any question? I need yourself asking a question. Diana, do you have any question? John Tell, do you have any question? Anyone have any question? Chanel. I off my head, right? No. Okay. Now, everything clear so far so if there's any question I'm gonna freak you back. okay cool what about Rakoya? you have any question i mean one of the things too you can do you know because remember saying you know, just like what you say 
you probably get a, a hundred no's in your first time, right? So mm -hmm. most I first them who like say shy per se afraid to reach out or so and then get the no and then kind of shut down. I know no said no put in the emotion, but you are you my being it happens, you know? So how do you deal with it? You just omit them totally? No, so um but, you remember that the, mm -hmm. the, when someone say no, mm -hmm. it just mean not yet. It's not the end of the world. They are still your friends. You're gonna talk to them. You don't nothing don't change. They just say not no, just mean not yet. Sometimes some of your friends have to see you. I start. really have friends um, with people then when we get to come on last night, I mean I work from home group with them. I'm just putting the flyer kids and send me. And they just responded and I just um tell them they have send them the Zoom link for them to join and that's how they came on. So when they oh. come, they were like, oh, man, I spend no money, I'm money, me and look for whatever, whatever. And where, 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 I'm trying to reach out back to them and they block me. Okay, cool. So here's the deal. See, that's why that's why I just teach you what to do. The correct thing that you're going to go with the people in your contacts, not some people that is just in a work group. We're going with the people. in. The, so if you just follow all the steps that I just went over, you're going to be fine. Now, understand this. Mm -hmm. You share the information with someone that is your friend. They say no, they're not going to do it right now. Nothing is wrong with that. You're going to have two categories of people. You're going to have some people that are going to start with you right now. And you're going to have some people that are going to start later. Nothing is wrong with that. You have to yeah. have leaders for, and you have to have followers. Yeah. Everybody can't be leader. Some of them are going to be followers. As a matter of fact, majority of the people in the world are followers. Yeah. And then you have some people that are leaders. Yeah. So you're going to have some, this is how it's going to go. Some people from your contacts, you're going to start with you now. And some are not going to start now. They're going to start later. You need to know that in the back of your head that that is how it works. So here's when they're going to start. They see you go to Dominican Republic. You, you, you're going to take pictures. You're going to post. You're going to do all of them thing there. Them see you come back. Them are going to say them want to sign now. Nothing is wrong with that. Some people are followers. Them are a leader. Them not going to want to go first. So you have to understand that. For example, we were going on an island called Pigeon Island for 24 hours. Some people say them not come. When them see we come, we go and come back and have a wonderful time, all of them now say, when we going again, when we going again, now they want to come. <laughs> you have to understand that psychologically. So some are going to say no now, but they're going to say yes later. Nothing is wrong with that. Just make sure that you show them the deal and go through the numbers. Some people, them will get started when them see a lifestyle change. Them see you yeah. buy a new car, them see you buy a new house, them are going to say they want to do it now. Nothing is wrong. You're still going to sign them up that time. They're just not going to start with you. Some yeah. people are going to start with you. The one that will start with you, yeah. them are going to make the most money with you. Let me give you a perfect example. Yeah. You know the app called Facebook, right? Yeah. The guy that created it, it's called Mark Zuckerberg. He went, he was in, he was in university. He go into his dorm room, call five of his friends. He don't even show them a presentation. He said to them, say, listen, come up with an idea where we are going to become billionaires. I'm going to create an app. I, I am writing the algorithm right now. The app is going to connect the whole world and we are going to become billionaires. I want two of you guys to do this with me right now because I need some help. Who, who is in? Three of them say, that are stupidness, foolishness, them not nah do it. Two of them say, yo, them are going to do it, them are going to help him. Two of them start with him, three of them not start with him. The two will start with him, they went on to become billionaires. You know what happened? The other three just got a, them, them eventually have a Facebook account. They are no billionaires. <laughs> so, that is how things work. Some are going to start with you now, and some are going to start later. And I just want you to think at a higher level. There's 7 billion people in the world, right? There's 3 million people in Jamaica. There's 40 million people in the Caribbean. 
if everybody in Jamaica get up and say them a sign up for Dream Trips, we're going to have a serious problem. <laughs> the database is going to crash. It's not going to work. We don't, you can't have everybody. Imagine if everybody said them I eat a KFC every day. Them not eat nothing else. What go on? It's not going to work. It's going to crash. So appreciate the people them will say them not do it. They make sense. Okay. Appreciate the one them will say no. Imagine if everybody do dream trips and everybody start make 10,000, 20,000 US dollars per month. When you drive up at the gas station, you have to go come out, come pump the gas yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, can nobody not work. You not have nobody at the call center. Who will answer your call? Listen, make people fall into them natural position. Make people fall into them natural position. Don't force people. Some people have to say yes, and some people have to say no. That's how the universe set up. Don't try to change the world. You're going, you're going mad. Try to change the world. That's what I'm telling you. You can't save the world. You, you're not, not even Jesus. You're, you're not Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ alone can save the world. If people say no, accept that. Because we need people for say no. We need people for continue to be nurse. As a matter of fact, if the whole Jamaica decides to sign up, the government are going to try to stop it. You get what I mean? Yeah. Because nobody not going to want to work. So you can only have a certain amount of people enjoying life, rich, happy, and everything, and the rest of people are going to work. That is how the world is designed. So if you're not, if you're not figure that out yet, you have a problem. You cannot save the world. People have to be, you have to help you. So we're not going to have no police. We're not going to have no soldier. We're not going to have no doctor. Everybody cannot do network marketing. Only if we only need 5% of people to enjoy themselves, travel over the world and have busy phone and them one day for what? While them go on and them work. You get what I'm saying? What's up on the gram? Yeah. So stop worrying about people say no. That is a good thing when some people say no. You notice when I ask people for the presentation, are you A, B, or C? You think more everybody say A all the time? We're all. Yes. I have, I have, um, my friend, right? Sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember about our last year. Yes. We got the opportunity almost like this one, where you have to start something like this, right? Yes. I met her, said, who mean money I make, like money I make. Right, mm -hmm. I was saying to her that them time they things was much better. So I met to her, I said, like they don't have the money, we put it to you. And then when you make back the money, then you call us give me it back, right? Mm -hmm. Me call her back now and I tell her, listen to me. All right, um, this is what it is. Me I go send you something more, a link come later and something. You know? Mm -hmm. Me said to her, say, you know, um, you have to pay our money though, but you understand me, but they don't know. The last thing was like literally more. You don't know what, but you have to carry it, right? Mm -hmm. Im imagine, um, Chanel could have do something like when we plan to do for a friend one time, right? Mm -hmm. This money was like, I mean, money, like literally money, money, money. And I was willing to go all out for her. No, mm -hmm. she ever met me and was say, oh, the so called friends, they know way. Um, Normally, every minute they put it, they put well, them stop talk and go talk. Oh, um, you know what's so them? Um, me talk to them, fix, um, send me up our call or whatever. So, me not like she, she not mention and say, Oh, you have to do, you know, like, and I say, I have to see a, 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 a money with this. Oh, they said they're not interested because maybe they must be in the legit. Somebody said to her, I said, Mama, remember one time, you know, I mean, I'm not going to pay money for you, whether or not if we want to see if we're not think that you listen to, you know. Enough is enough, and we want to try something. So, here what? If I send a link later and you do a farm panic, I mean, know the sooner or later, and if it, when it work out, no, if, when it work out, I know the share come and say, then, um, you're calling me a money. Hey, <laughs> I'll be here for her. <laughs> yeah, so. I'll be here for her. So, so that's going to happen over and over. You're going to have some people that. Yeah, I'm never there for you. Mm -hmm. You got Definitely. some people who are gonna move with you. You got some people who are gonna move with you. You got some people who are not gonna move with you. So it's it's the whole process. But we have to appreciate both sides. Some the ones that are go, not gonna move now and the ones that are gonna move now. You see what okay. I mean? 
Espera até que tu para mim lá. Não, mas eu não reconheço em boa tito. Eu não me na mãe, não. Because you have some person, like them a look, see a rainbow, and when they see the rainbow, they a look, they go find the path of gold in the rainbow. Well, not this life, me know everything. When I was signing up for my work, and them tell me how much money me I get, and the lady say, you want the work? You know, my heart and soul, me said to myself, say yes, not knowing that when I got there was something very, what different that we may expect. You understand? So I take the work, right? Mm -hmm. Expecting so when the lady said this year gets a fear fear. I was like, right, a little bit but you got time. Mm -hmm. Right? And then I go work and realize oh, you know, say, you know, bad like oh me not expect it to, to, to be bad. Like like I am just saying that life and a whole is a risk. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that I was explaining to her because she could buy a boot for twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. Then buy ear ties too much thousand dollars. And I'm like, Mama, oh, when you buy a grocery mm -hmm. I just eat the grocery and everything done. I'm hungry, I kill you. I will never go buy a book. I never want to finish it. I have money, I have money, I have money. 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 I have money, I money. I have money, I have 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 money. So, 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 and then at the end of the day, she got a bar, and I'm like, no, I'm not have the money. I read that I'm still on a county because you can't take up money and then and then you like, me tell you that's worse. You know, <laughs> I have a friend who tell me about her link, like, oh, you had me on this, and the girl tell me about the link, and make free of the money on the link, and still on her yard and making money, and I'm going to see her money. <laughs> and if another friend come tell me, say, you know, so the same thing when they call it Isha do, and I was like, okay, then. All right, no problem. So people will eyes it up too. You understand me, you know? And then when them think about them, I say, you know, I don't mean, want me not to reach no way. So you want to know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the extra step, and I'm going to shit there, you know? Yeah, people like that. But that's yes, right. No, but yeah, with this concept, with, with this concept, they can't join without somebody inviting them. So they can't mm -hmm. go wrong. Yes, so, and sometimes they need to hear about it before, you know, but because it'll come from me, them no one have to say, but if, if them join with me, they might go come under me, which is them you know say me join yesterday, so whole of people are gonna come after. Then yes. I think about that, you know, because they don't understand the full concept. Then those no say money are gonna make and them feel like they might go get it before you. So mm -hmm. you just have to be mindful of all of those stuff and just know yeah. that you can't change the world, you can't get all That's of them to follow you. So you just work with the ones that want to follow you and we crack on. So it's now 6.25. So we have before two hours order. exactly okay. before the presentation. We have two hours exactly before the presentation. That's so probably. we're going to take the next two hours and actually invite some people using the correct format that we we'll just start you. And I'll yeah. see you guys on the presentation. Before you go, one question, one question. Um, For the trip, right? Yes. Me, um, my baby father will come on with me. What if we decide to come on the trip? Does it waiver? Does it do we get the two for one? The the two the one room for two are the same way? Yeah, remember the, the price that I show you is mm -hmm. one adult, one room, two adults is the same. Oh, so it not fit to pay a different. No. Okay, okay. So one adult for two. Did you check out the kids part? Ah, uh, so they, they they what it said is that for for, for baby, depending on the age. Mm -hmm. They get a discounted price. Oh, but, but, but you can sign in and actually look at it from your own from your own booking engine. You know, you don't have your own booking engine. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, part, yeah. so when you sign in, you're gonna go to the menu button. Um you're gonna go to the menu but menu button. I'm gonna uh -huh. show you, I'm, I'm gonna text you how to do it. And then you're gonna scroll down where you say digital products, you're gonna click on dream trips, you're gonna uh -huh. sign it, and you're gonna click on hotels. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right. I'm all right, say... no problem. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, I'm gonna close the call out and I'm gonna see you guys in the next two hours. Um, we're gonna share the information with some more people. Okay. <laughs>